Okay, welcome America, welcome India, and welcome Taylor Swift. We are graphing exponential functions. We're gonna start with problem three on the worksheet. So we start from the beginning and we think of if our original function was y equals our base is in this case three to the x power, right? Our original two points would be if I plug in zero, anything to the zero power is one, so zero, one, and then one, our base is three. Any questions on how we got those two points? We're gonna move those two points. Okay, so zero, one, and one, three. All right, now where are they moving to? So our A is negative two. So if I were to put a negative two in front here, okay, if I just multiply this by negative two, if I still, if I plug in zero here for x, three to the zero power is still one, but there's a negative two waiting in front of it. So the y values are gonna be all multiplied by negative two. So zero, one is gonna to go to zero, negative two, and one, three is gonna to go to one, negative six. So that is gonna account, account for the reflection over the x axis. Just like back when we were learning about quadratics in algebra two, when you have a leading coefficient that's positive for y equals x squared, right? The graph opens up. If the leading coefficient is negative, it's like y equals negative x squared, the parabola is gonna open down, right? Same thing. Okay, so now we have a reflection. All right, so let's see. Let me plot those two points and then we'll move them. So we have zero, negative two, and one, negative six. Okay, now, we have a horizontal shift and we have a vertical shift. Horizontal shift is inside the exponent. This tells us we're gonna be moving those points to the right one and then down one. Just like parent functions um, from unit one, we have a, a shift inside the function. That's our horizontal shift. And we have, if we have a, uh, a, a plus or minus two or four at the end of the equation, that's gonna be a vertical shift up or down. So these points are gonna go right one and then down one. So let's do it, different color. All right, let me cross these out in red. I usually just leave them on my graph, but then I just, I cross them out so I know that they were, I could see where, they, where these points, new points are coming from. All right, now in blue, I will put them right one, down one, right one, down one. Right one, down one. Now I forgot to draw the asymptote. Usually I draw the asymptote first, but that's okay. So where's the original asymptote? We kind of just went through that. Zero. Okay, so where's it going to be now? Negative one. Yep. So here we go, y equals negative one. And we can write that in y equals negative one. And now we just draw our graph. That graph is still, it's as the x values are going up, the y values are not approaching the graph. So this is still diverging. Domain, I can pick any x value, negative, come up, and it's gonna continue going up positive. So that's from negative infinity to positive infinity. However, the range is restricted. There's no graph above the y value negative one. So we're gonna go, we always write our range in our domain from low to high, right, interval notation. So the lowest value is negative infinity up to negative one, but not including negative one because there's an asymptote there. So the way we represent that is with parentheses. Boom, how are we doing? Great. Love it. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna stop my video and do another one.